read the book of Proverbs chapter 3 verse 31. Tell me up a little bit. My brothers, my brothers in the, uh, my true dog brothers, and my brothers in blue, let me ask you a question. When did God ever say to follow Greek customs? Um, that's my question to y'all. When did God ever say that we must follow Greek customs? Because my brothers, y'all got Greek letters on your hat and on your, on your shirt. When did God ever tell black folks to follow Greek customs? Huh? Do y'all know the Greeks was the first people to institute democracy? The Greeks was the first people to push homosexuality. That's right! That never was a custom of our people. Give me the book of Proverbs chapter 3 verse 31. Oh, you brothers in blue, you brothers in purple, you are the children of Israel. That's right! Yes, that you are not Q-Dogs. You are not African Americans. You are not Christians. You are not Protestant. You are not Muslim. You are not of these false religions or, I, or nationalities or philosophies. According to this book right here, we are the children of Israel. But we are for slavery for breaking all God's commandments. Read that for me. Book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 31. So we are in the Holy Bible. Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 31. Read that. In me thou let thy oppressor. God gave us straight commandments. The most high God, the God of heaven and earth, he said, In me not thou oppressor. Read and choose not of his ways. The God that made you black man, Hispanic man. The same God that made you black woman, Hispanic woman. He said, choose none of your oppressor's ways. We are choosing the same way of the man that raped you, black women in the field. They robbed you, brothers. They castrated you. They hanged you all up and down the south. Just last week, a little black boy in Houston, Texas, got snatched off the bus stop by his oppressors. Just last month, two brothers got locked up for going to a business meeting on time at a Starbucks in Philadelphia by our oppressor. Just this month alone, and in the end of last month, two people in Atlanta, Georgia, got hung by a noose by their oppressors, allegedly. And y'all are choosing the same way as your oppressor, the so-called white man who hates your guts. That's right. Bring it up. That's the reason why you fled up north to Chicago, because all down south, there was rape, but it's hanging us and robbing us. Y'all come up here and choose his ways again. That's right. Read that again. If you don't want thy oppressor, and choose not of his way. Again, God said you so-called blacks, you so-called Hispanics, do not envy the man that's oppressing you. Don't envy him and don't choose none of his ways. Not near one. Don't choose it. Give me Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. Let's find out why is there so much gun violence here in Chicago? And you got to ask yourself, if we guys people, why is the Lord allowing us to die by the hand gun? Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. Let's see if prayer on the night is going to change the handgun violence. Read. Look at Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15. Let's see if God's going to continue to hear our voices. The sister right there on the happy liquor food sign, she said she had a sign called, Hear Our Voices. We're going to see if God's going to hear our voices by the scripture. Come on. I will go and return to my place. God said he shall go and return to his place. When God left the children of Israel, the so-called blacks and Hispanics, we went into chattel slavery. Right, right. In 1619, slaves was brought to the shores of James Town, Virginia. In 1592, the northern kingdom of Israel, the so-called Hispanics, was conquered by the conquistadors. Bring it up. That's history. That's prophecy. That's according to the Bible. And we are here to show you that you must keep God's commandments and the faith of Christ, who is a black man, to receive salvation. That's right. So that he can hear your prayer. And I'm going to prove it out of the Holy Bible. Come on. Recall that reading. Look up. Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15. We in the Bible. Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15. Whoever loves God, loves the Bible, hear this. We, I will go and return to my place. God said he's going to leave his children. He's going to forsake them. Go back to his place. We, till they acknowledge their offense. 
what they in this verse is you so-called place in space the children of Israel. God said he shall go to his place until you Blacks in the Spanish acknowledge that you, you have offended against God. God Read that part again. Until they acknowledge their offense. What is our offense? Our offense is following the customs of the other nations. Our offense is walking around living like we are the other nations. The so-called white race, which is the children of Edom in the Bible. We're following after the so-called Arabians, which are the children of Ishmael in the Bible. What about our laws? What about our customs? What about our ways? We want to follow the Greeks. The Greeks oppressed us as well. And we can read about that. Come on. Till they acknowledge their offense. God said he's going to go until you acknowledge you have offended against God by committing sins against him. We And seek my face. And you must seek his face. The face of God is in the Bible. Give me Isaiah chapter 34 verse 16. God said... And check, matter of fact, read Hosea, let me say it in Hosea 5, I'm sorry. God said that he will go to his place until you acknowledge you have offended against him. How do you offend against God? Every time you eat pork, you offend it against God. Because God said thou shalt not eat the swine. How do you offend against God? God said your sister should not be wearing pants. God said a woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. If yeah. sisters want to wear pants, they offended against God. Yeah. God said you brothers shall not shave your beard. And all these are law, statutes, and commandments found in the Holy Bible. That's right. And we're going to prove it. We and seek my face in their afflictions. They will seek me early. Read that again. In their afflictions, they will seek me early. You ever wonder why is blacks and Hispanics the most afflicted person on this earth? Why do we have the highest black on black crimes? Why do we have the highest STD rates, HIV rates? Why we got baby daddies, baby mamas? How come we don't got no fathers, no mothers in our household? Why is we on section eight? Why is we on welfare? Why is we on the bottom getting shut down like dogs on Facebook Live? On CNN? Why is we getting choked out of classrooms? Why can't we sit down on Starbucks early for a business meeting? Because God said, in your affliction, you shall seek him early. Bring it up! Any time blacks and Hispanics, you Israelites, you want to pray, it's when somebody die. Y'all want to come together and have a prayer official. So God said, he's going to let a whole lot more people die. Read that again. And seek my face in their afflictions. They will seek me only. God prophesied that in your affliction, black man, in your trouble, black man, black woman, Hispanic man and Hispanic woman, God prophesied that you shall seek God early. That's what he, God knows his people. He knows that he must punish you and afflict you for you to come back to him. We did it against the top. Book of Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15. So what are we teaching? We are here teaching you so-called blacks and Hispanics who are the children of Israel. Well, the Bible speaks up. Come on. I will go and return to my place to acknowledge their offenses and seek my face in their affliction. They will seek me only. That's the purpose of affliction. Just like you fathers out here that, that got children, when your children do something wrong, you beat them with a belt. We are God's children. God said because we committed sins, we are going into chattel slavery. Bring it up. Started in 1492 for you Hispanics, See? which is the northern kingdom of Israel. So you so-called African, the African Americans, you are from the tribe of Judah. You so-called Mexicans, you are from the tribe of Issachar. You so-called Puerto Ricans are from the tribe of Ephraim Ifa in the Bible. You so-called West Indian Jamaicans, you are from the tribe of Benjamin in the Holy Bible. But you going the other way. You following the ways of your oppressor. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth.
So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.